I have the midpoint to my 30 inch section of cord. I'll take my thumbs and roll them to the right, and that's going to create an underhand loop. Now at this loop, I'll hold on to the left side. The right side is going to wrap around this section of cord. So let's hold on to the left. I'll take this point and I'll wrap it around. And now I have my index fingers pointing at me. I'm going to touch them together and join the loops. And now I have a window here. Now this one is too small just yet to go over the stopper over here. So I just need to expand that open a little bit. There we go. That'll be big enough once I get it down there. Before I start my pull, I need to join these two ends. I'm just going to do a simple overhand knot with both the strands. There we go. And so what's going to happen here is I separate these two cords. You can see the one on top, that one stays still. And that is what's adding the pressure to this whole system so that any tension I pull in, I get to keep. Watch again. Everything's going to constrict, 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 constrict. And this cord's going to hold everything together. All right, let's get on there. I'll take the two loops of my constrictor system. I'll place them around the stopper. And then I'll separate those other strands so I can start putting in my tension. I'll pull these strands apart as much as I can, but I want to add some extra tension. And that's where my cup and spoon come into play. The top of the stopper is lower than the bottom of the cup. As I tighten up these strands with every turn, this constrictor knot is going to tighten up and the whole system is going to winch the stopper up and out of the sink. You can already see it. And if you want, you can leave your cord in place because it's tight enough for next time.